for a little while there you were engaged. Yeah. Is, is that over with? Yeah, I'm no longer engaged. I'm, I'm single. You know what I'm saying? No longer engaged. Um, Do you see marriage coming for you soon? Uh, definitely not soon. You know, when, when, when you have opportunities in life and you try them, you know, multiple times and it doesn't work, I just like to listen to God and maybe, I, you know, that's God telling me, you know, that's not for you. You know, I, I, look, I look at my boys and I tell them a lot. You know, they know I'll be wanting relationships and shit like that. But then I always run into this wall, man, where I'm torn in between either a woman I'm dating and the lifestyle. And I be feeling like it's really hard to date a person like me because I'm addicted to my lifestyle. I understand that the lifestyle, I, I, I need the lifestyle to sell my liquor. I gotta have, yeah, I gotta have, yeah, I gotta have parties. I gotta have women around. I got, I gotta, I have to do that because that's my job. I don't, you know, that's what I do. I need the, but that's me. Do you think me. you could commit to one woman and be in that lifestyle? Or that's, that's she would have to enjoy the lifestyle with me and just come along for the ride. Um, it's a smooth ride too. It ain't no bumps in the road. You know, it's definitely fun. It's energetic. It's different. But, you know, I feel like I tried it. I had two, three opportunities. You know, and plenty of, I mean, I've had more than plenty of opportunities to settle down, but as far as like the marriage thing, I've had like two opportunities to do that. This wasn't my first time being engaged before. Oh, I didn't even know that. You weren't supposed to. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is the third engagement? <laughs> nah, this is the second. Second? So, Who but was you, the first one? Uh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't her first time being engaged neither. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, Keep that on the hush. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I mean, cause I seen y'all in Vegas. I was hanging out with y'all, and y'all just really seemed yeah. like y'all was having fun. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah, this yeah. might really. But, but, but you know what, man? Things happen for a reason, you know. And, and maybe you know, it just wasn't destined for us. You know what I'm saying? And throughout all the the, the media stuff that's going on, it's kind of childish. And you know, I, I really wish her the best of luck. I don't. Not my feelings. Right? Nah, not on my end. It's not at all. You know, not not on my end at all. You know, um. I don't even want to say the bullshit cliche, I wish I got asked a lot type of thing. I just want everybody to just have fun. Everybody deserves to be happy in life. And, you know, if I couldn't make her happy, then somebody else has to. And that's just how life goes. But, you know, I, that's I, the mature yeah, response. I, I could see any of my exes and walk right past them and say hello, and it's not a problem. I'm not trying to, I don't get off on dissing a woman. I don't get off on doing, I mean, I've caught myself up, you know, throwing little slight jabs at, you know, whoever yeah, I want to, and, you know, and if, and what kills me is people think that if I say my ex-girlfriend, they act as if the the couple celebrity women that I've dated are my only exes. I've yeah. dated regular women before. So I can wake up and tweet something. And it might be for Shantae. Y'all don't know who <laughs> Shantae from Baltimore, Maryland is. You feel me? So it's like yeah. Shantae might be texting me, motherfucker, you just said something about me. But then I got like my celebrity exes yeah. thinking I'm talking about them. It's like, no, I'm not. But... You know, I just like I said, I just wish everybody the best of luck, and we all deserve to be happy. And you know, life's too short, man. And plus, I'm a man; I don't get off on beefing with a woman. Like, what? You get no props for that shit. So, you know, I wish her the best of luck. I had a great time with her. Um, if she was here, she'd tell you the same thing. She, we had a great time. We had a great ride. But you know, the ride had to come to a stop. And she's doing her thing, and I'm doing mine. The latest rumor is what your car got eggs. Is that true, or is that just made up? Oh no, it's not made up. <laughs> it was eggs. It was flour. <laughs> It was stuff all over that fit. It was all type of shit on that ghost. <laughs> hey, yo, true story. It was like, it was crazy, though, bro. It was like, on the real, I had a crazy party at the crib, and it's going up. And I was so tired of all the partying I was doing. I, I remember I was walking around the house in my Versace robe. Yeah, I got to say what kind of robe I was in. And, uh... I got in the bed, no lie. You can ask my homies. I, I I walked, I left the party. I left all the women, everybody. I left them, I let them party. I went in my room. I wasn't feeling it. I was just chilling. I was tired. I'm in the bed while everybody partying. And all of a sudden, you know, girls rush to the bedroom and they like, um, y'all Rolls Royce is fucked up. And I'm like, what? What's going on? So I go, I go out there, right? And uh, I look over the hood. I'm like, oh shit, that ain't my car. That's the homie ghost. This is my rich partner too. Like super, super rich dude, right? So I'm like, oh fuck, I don't wanna let him know his shit. Man, so I send my both my sisters downstairs on a rush, like, hey, yo, get a bucket, water, y'all wash that shit off. Don't let him see this shit. But they was yelling to me from downstairs, like, 
Hey, bro, it's flour, eggs, and all. Man, this shit stuck on the paint. It's fucked up. Then to make matters worse, when they came back up, this something everybody ain't know. The mirror on the on the rose was off. Like they done took the mirror off, set it on the street. Hold on, hold on. You didn't have a like, alarm on the car. What's going on? Man, and what's bro. The gate was going on. Like, hey, man. The security All I know at, is this. Man. All I know is this. It was crazy. My my homie, uh, my homie, uh, his girl car got hit up. It was a white Benz got hit up. But for me, you know. I never said who did. I never said no names. I just, you know, put it out there like, yo, one of my exes, you know, did a quick little cake drive by. But <laughs> what did you do to piss her off though? Like, I, um, being bow, being a, yeah. being bow, being a man, being in the life. Yup. And you know, like I said, I'm difficult to deal with. I'm difficult to deal with. I'm, I'm a little weird. I'm weird. So, you know, I laughed it off. I said, oh, this is gonna be great for. Gotta put this in a song. This is gonna be excellent. This is gonna be excellent. And then it just reminded me of Thin Line Between Love and Hate, which is one of my favorite movies. So, so is the car clean now? Oh yeah, I'm sure by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you and the girl cool, or y'all still? Like, um, I mean, I don't know how you get over that that quick. I mean, it's something you got to take some time. I don't nah, know. Man, nah, you over man. it? You just, yeah, man, you got to get. You over wish her the best. Yeah, I, I wish her the best. You wish her a clean car and all that. Like, you know, we were, man, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll no buy, clapbacks, I, man. I'll buy her a new car you right now as we speak. <laughs> I'll buy her a new car right like now. Like Maria Kill, Keisha Cole, Erica Mena. Or Angela Simmons. You said I gotta do what? Fuck, marry, and kill. This is from Bart, by the way. Mary Angela. Is that the one that got away? Nah, nah, nah. We was just real close friends. I respect her a lot. I, I have nothing okay. bad to say about her. Pops, everybody. I just seen her dad not too long ago at the Grammys, matter of fact. Um, I got a lot of love in, 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 um, for Ange, and you know, I wish her the best of luck, too. She's doing her thing. She got the little reality show going. Um, that's dope. Um, we got a fucking kill left. I need some Jeopardy theme music. Right. Erica would probably be. Erica's fun. She's you know, I mean, she's just a, a, a young woman who loves to live life. She's fun. She likes girls. <laughs> that's always um, a plus. I'm, I'm, you know, she's the fun one. You know, she wants to get married. Every woman wants that, and we were close. But she's fun, and she's young, and she still wants to live life, and she's living her life now. So that'd be the person who we'll have fun with, like just wild out and be outside, fun, adventurous, good vibes. So what about uh, Keisha Cole? I wouldn't kill her though. Okay. I wouldn't kill her. I wouldn't kill nobody. Um, I respect that. I wouldn't kill anybody either. Yeah, I wouldn't kill nobody, man. She's 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 she's. She she deserves all the best. Keisha does. You know what I'm saying? She deserves all, all the best. Her fans, they know her story. I know her story. We all know her story. And um yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't kill none of them actually, man. They they're all great. Um all great girls, all great women. And I would I wouldn't kill none of them. I wouldn't. I'll kill that that, you know. <laughs> I'll kill that for sure. <laughs> but uh I have nothing bad to say about all three of them women, man. Those are women who um, you know, like I said, Erica and Angela, they, they played a big important role in my life. Um, and I'll be a I'll be a lame ass dude, or I'll be a you know, a dick to say anything bad about two women in my life who I loved and you know, who I had an opportunity to meet parents and I got a bond with them. So, you know, it's a little That's deeper than parents? that. Yeah, for sure. I mean Erica was my fiance and you know, Angela I've been knowing Angela my whole damn life. So, you know, I I, I would sit here and be an asshole to say something now because we're no yeah. longer in nobody's life, so that'd be whack as shit. Um, and you know, with Keish, man, like I said, I, you know, I, I just wish her the best of luck too, man. And she's on tours. She wants to get back in the studio and do shit. So, you know, best of luck to all three of them. What's that? Hey, and the, and the cake had my name on the. That was a happy birthday, Val. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I'm like, damn, who did I not invite to the party? I didn't even know I was having a party. The homies were surprised me. They threw a quick little pajama jam party. I'm like. I, hey, it was, I, uh, what? And I, I was going up on the Snapchat too. I think they might have seen that. They didn't get the invite. Had a cake made all day. I ain't hit him. And... Oh, I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show him happy birthday. Thin line, Missy Love and Hate shit right there, bro. Yeah, it was crazy. But you need a little comedic relief in your life. <laughs>